love bugs is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, thank you for taking the time out um, to be able to learn yourself and love yourself on so many different levels. Even though you're going through some, you know, some not so good times but yes you're having you know it's balancing out sometimes you have really bad stuff going on and sometimes you don't but you can be appreciating everything that comes your way so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Um, even if it's about the the you know the the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has been giving you good vibes or just uh, good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow impact that are going through some really trying times right now and need confirmation or validation towards their life path, their soul journey, or, you know, just need some confirmation just to be put in their life as well to give them some kind of comfort and understanding. Please share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It is so greatly appreciated. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today I'm listening to... Um, it's called the Om Chanting Relaxing Mind and Body Instills Extreme Calmness. And it really did because I know I want to go get my daughter. And she's like, are you okay? And I asked her if she was okay. She's like, I'm calm. And I said, me too. I'm calm too. <laughs> it's just being grateful for everything. You know, usually I can be really aggravated and irritable about stuff. But now I'm just like, I guess I'm getting that peace and understanding in my life right now. Um, and my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, no matter what is occurring in the present remember the universe is always working in your favor and they truly are there's sometimes it's really hard to see it when you're in a situation and it's like once again i had my conversation with you know universe we like that you know and i just said you know i said between all and all you know even though there's things that i go through that can be very irritating to me and it tries my patience you know universe be testing your gangsters sometimes but it's okay they're put you know they're always meaning well by, behind the things that they're you know showing us or putting us in because when we're placed in it they don't see it as a negative or a positive they're just pushing it out just you know this is what they need to go through right now they're not seeing the negative and the positive they just see the situation for what it is and how it's supposed to teach you and a lot of times you don't understand that you know and there's a lot of times you could be dealing with a lot of things that is like hard to handle like you like you know i've been in the situations like you know i've cried and asked god you know it, can i get a break you know can i stop dealing with this you know I'm just so tired of this situation. Can I move on to something else? And it's like you cannot be able to move out of that situation till you see the lesson behind the situation on why you're placed in it in the first place. Like I told y'all before in my last video or the video before that because I know this is like my 7th or 8th video. I think 7th or 8th video. I put a total of 9 out throughout the day. But, you know, as many as I do, it usually takes up to a day and a half for it to come through. But, um, you know usually they place you in a situation not for you to change the situation because a lot of times we'll be trying to do things on our own and they're just trying to say can we can we do this work for you because obviously what you're doing ain't working so let let us do this and you just you know you just going about your business but let us work on this you know um there's a lot of time they place us in situations not for us to change but for that situation to change us it's like throughout my journey you know dealing with what i had to deal with you know y'all know you know if you've been with me for a while but there's certain certain people that have it and that's why i tell people i love when the fact is they could be looking at a certain video that they're looking for trying to put labels towards the things that they're going through and they end up watching a whole lot of my videos and really like dang i like her i like the way she breaks it down i like what she deals with and then after a while and then you finally look at the intro and it blows your mind on the reason why i started doing the videos in the first place and sometimes it scares people away you know as well look i get both kind of reactions towards it but 
you know, either way is is meant for people that you know can really resonate with it. That's all. It, that's all it said. But being able to deal with a lot of things and being able to see the lesson behind the situations that you're in, you know, it can really put you in a toxic place. It can really put you in a dark place. But it's all how you respond to it in the first place when you get put in situations like that and it took me a while to have to do that and I said you know what I'm grateful now I get now I'm seeing and understanding why I had to get put in this situation and it has me healing in ways I never thought I would you know and it's it, it can be scary at times because you like okay I might be feeling this way today but am I going to feel that way tomorrow it's all about you know what's what what you're going to respond to how are you going to go effective it when it starts another day because the next day is a ho- always a new day for you to be able to look at things from a fresh start being able to look at it from a different perspective without feelings being prodded into it that's why i tell people a lot of times wait until you get that common mode because if you trying to look at stuff while you stressed out and pissed off and angry at the world you ain't gonna you're only gonna see it one-sided so it's just like you know they're they're doing these things to humble you you know i i, I tell people i felt blessed and humbled all the time because I'm able to open my life up to strangers, total strangers, and let them know, hey, I've been through this, but, you know, look at the situation I've been placed in, look at the things that's happened to me, that's done to me, just because of who I'm related to, who, you know, who did I, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I deal with on that empathic level on the reason why I went through the things I went through and I'm healing each and every day you know as every day is a brand new day I can sit up here and say you know what I'm grateful for these situations that you have brought into my life that has allowed me to heal and gain that power back you know I know it took a while and I know y'all were patient for me patient with me and I had to ask God to forgive me for the things that I allowed to continue to hurt me when that wasn't what it was meant for you know, and it, it was a hard thing to deal with, you know, um, being able to look at my situation and say, you know, I'm blessed because this, this gave me so much power, you know, so much strength, so much wisdom, so much knowledge, you know, has me open a gate to be able to invite different gifts that, you know, that is meant for me. Uh, being able to see how people really, you know, work when it comes to certain things. You know, um, how people approach you when they find out the things about you. Do they do they still see you as the same person? Because a lot of people don't see me as the same person after they find out who I'm related to or all the things that I know. Sometimes people get intimidated by that because a lot of people don't like strong people like that. You know, especially trying to tell them what to do or whatever. And it's just like, you know, I don't, I'm not that type of person, you know, I'm humble, you know, I can learn stuff off of you like you can learn off of me, you know, nobody's ever too old, because there's a lot of times where you feel like, you know, you're looking at a kid, and you're like, man, you ain't gonna be able to tell me that, you ain't nothing but a kid, but you never know how their perspective is looking at, because I see a lot of young people that are like, they can be my children, and it's just like certain people on here, and they know who I'm talking about, too, and I was like, man, you talk old as hell, like, you older than me, but it's like, I tell them, you got an old soul, I really feel that way, you an old soul, because it's just the way you talk, nobody at your age talks like that, not at least, you know, my children are the same age as them, so I'm just like, and they know who I'm talking about, but it's like, I crack up laughing at them, I'm like, you know, if you don't go sit your old young ass down somewhere, I'm like, Call somewhere, but I love them anyway. I love them from the bottom of my heart. But it just cracks me up on how they say stuff. Because I'm like, you are too young to be talking like that. What? What old folks you been hanging around? But it's just like, I was like that at a young age, you know. Because my mom was like, you an old soul because you talk like an old woman. You know, I even told my dad that. My dad started busting out laughing like, you know, you acting too grown. I said, well. You know, mom and them always said I was an old soul. So, you know, and he's, all you can do is just bust out laughing and be like, oh, boy. Well, I, I said, yeah, you know, you done created a monster over here. Because just you already knew what a hot mess you were growing up. So, you just think about the female version of you. That's just going to be way out of control. But, it, you know, it's just every experience I can say has humbled me in one way or another. Has blessed me in one way or another. Being able to share that with you. You know, because it might be attached or entitled to something that you are truly resonating with, that you're truly, really trying to find a peace of mind to. Because a lot of us are going through things and trying to find a peace of mind to that. You know, I, I don't put judgment on anybody because nobody's better than the other one. Like I said, you're supposed to give the same respect to the CEO as the same one you give to the janitor. Everybody put their pants leg one day at a time, one leg at a time. 
So it's just like we all go through things. A lot of times we have to learn from our mistakes, our setbacks, our failures, and, you know, bad habits. You know, uh, being able to look at things in a negative way and you turn around and look at it in a positive way. But just trust and believe the universe has your back. You know, you just have to go through a lot of things to get to what you truly need in life. You, If you're aiming towards certain things in your life, they will make you go jump monkey hoops. You know, those are the only people you need to be jumping, jumping monkey hoops for. No person, but just for, you know, universe creator, God, you you know, Gaia, all these different things that all these mystical people are, you know, you know, jewels or whatever you want to call them. They are coming into your life. Those are only people you're supposed to jump hoops for. No, no mankind, but for the mankind. That's the only person you should, you know, the only people you should be jumping hoops for because behind all those hoops they're teaching you something one way or another that's gonna humble you in a long way because it's like being able to make videos i love making them like i say they're very therapeutic for me um they're like video diaries that i'm just it's not private you know there are certain things i choose to keep to myself you know um for healthy reasons but there's a lot of things that i feel like i should share with other people because they can really relate to it towards the things that are coming on their path or they might not be able to see you know when i'm on one-on-one -on -one, people i blow people's mind on things that i can open up in their personal life there's no way of me knowing but if it's meant for me you to be in my life i'll be allowed to tell you certain things that you aren't aware in your life or there are certain things that's trying to communicate with you but you're not able to see it at that time it's truly a blessing to be able to do that I, I, you know is there certain people i can text and i'm just like hey stop trying to figure out everything on your own you got you know signs that's coming in there trying to help you but you won't allow them to do that or a loved one will come in i'm like hey they said you need to stop doing that I'm like Rosalind, do you got a microphone or you got cameras in my house no i mean but this is what they wanted me to tell you so you yeah, obviously you i must be right because it doesn't uh, mess with you the long way so it's just like being able to have gifts like that, you know, I'm blessed to be able to do that. You know, back in the day, they will see, you know, that's the devil's work. You know, I, I hate it when I can go on certain, you know, um, videos and people are like, that's devil's work. No, it's not because God was like that. And you can't say God was devil. You know, you can't do that. I feel like God was an empath in so many different ways. God was a, a indigo in a lot of ways. You know, he's been able, you know, for a person to sit up here and sacrifice their life in a, a selfless way you know you you that's the person you need to worship you know because a lot of people might say you know never know somewhere down the line people say oh she worships the devil she's in that illuminati no there is no there is no price that i would ever put on my soul if it was i'm gonna leave the world with what i came in here with <laughs> i said i ain't got time because see with the devil they be trying to tell you all that you got clauses and stuff they that fine print they keep away from you so i'm good with that you know that whatever is meant for me to have in life, it'll have it'll come because I worked hard for it, not because I had to sell something to have to get it. So, being able to have all these things in my life, being able to know my situations has humbled me in so many different levels. Being able to love myself on so many levels when I wasn't able to do that. Uh, being able to know that my gifts are our gifts they're not mental illnesses even though that was placed upon me as a young child to say the things that i say and the things that i do that is kind of creepy towards people they said it was a mental illness and it's not you know it's just the fact is you were telling the truth and they just didn't like that <laughs> so you know it, it's just like being able to know that when you're placed in a situation you know really you got to really look at that different perspective you know it can be very stressful as well hell at times a lot of times they push us to do things that we fear or to do things they know we wouldn't do if they didn't make us do that because there's always a purpose behind that and just know when you finish going through this situation you'll be very grateful that you did you know you might not feel it now but it's just it might take that time for you to be able to say you know what if i didn't go through this situation i wouldn't you know i can say about myself if I never been abused, never found out who my biological parents were, um, I would have never knew what I was attached to. I would have never been able to know what gifts that was placed upon me as, you know, as a child or as well as whenever, you know, having a soul contract with people I've had contracts with. Um, being able to see what my capacity 
what things am I able to jump hurdles over, what things I'm able to heal and get the strength from. Those are truly blessings, to, you know, truly beautiful blessings to me. But I hope you were able to uh, resonate with the content of this video. It's already 15 minutes long. I've been talking, doing some really long videos lately. But hey, it's, you know, it depends on the message that needs to be sent out. You know, people need to hear it. So I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I know this is going to come out tomorrow. So I might do this. is my last video I'm going to do for right now. You might see some videos out a little bit later. You know, um, I'm going to stop and do because I did like about seven or eight today. So um, it got me kind of wiped out. So I will see you on my next video. Um, much love. I'm not going to give no shout out to anybody, but I'll just do it on my next video. So, you know, just much love to y'all. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I hope you be blessed and safe for everything and be responsible for everything you do. Know you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. And know there's always somebody out there praying for you better days. And I'll see you later. Much love. Peace. Be wise.